Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to graph the linear equality x is less than or equal to zero. Now, to graph this inequality, um, you know, we could use a table of values, you know, and so forth. But I figured I'd probably just make sure I under make sure I go through, you know, how would you even how do you really understand x equals zero or y equals zero based on our coordinate system? Well, we have a y-axis and an x-axis, right? And the main important thing is at the origin, that point is 0 comma 0, meaning the value of x is 0, the value of y is 0. Now, basically, the Cartesian coordinate is kind of two number lines, horizontal number line and a vertical number line. So really, the x-axis is a linear line that is in the equation y equals 0. And the y-axis is basically a linear equation of x equals 0, because no matter what point you pick on this y-axis, x is always equal to 0. No matter what point you pick on the y-axis, y is always going to be equal to 0. So to graph the line, um, just to graph the line x equals 0, that is the y-axis. All right. Now, when it's graph the line x is less than or equal to 0, we're pretty much taking the exact same line, x is, um, x is equal to 0. But then we need to identify what about the shading. Well. Is my line going to be solid or dashed? Because it is just the y-axis. And since this is less than or equal to, that means the y-axis, this my equation, or my inequality, is a part of my line. If it was just less than and not less than or equal to, then we'd actually have to dash it because it wouldn't be a part of the solution. The next thing is we want to do, what about points to the left or to the right of the line? Which ones are going to be true? And we can't choose our point 0, 0 because our boundary line goes through that point. So I'm going to want to choose a point, any point, and let's just choose the point 1, 0. All right? And then basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug that value, or the values I can, which x would be equal 1, um, in for there. So I say 1 is less than or equal to 0. Well, that is false. And no matter what number you plug to the right of, um, right of your boundary line, they're always going to be false. So therefore, all the points to the left are going to be true. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you graph a vertical linear inequality. Thanks.